Hey YouTube, Camper Van Kevin here. Well today, I leave the Blue Water Casino in Parker, Arizona. Yep, stayed here for Gosh, we've been here for a week or so now. Came here for Thanksgiving, and uh, but hey, it's time to move. Why? Because I got wheels under my house. I like staying in different places. But uh, I believe I'm gonna head further south. Come on, go with us. All kind of RVs. Guy right there, he lives in that LTD. Something you don't see every day. He lives in there with his German Shepherd. There is uh, David hooking up his Jeep. Got some friends there in the white little camper. Bud and his wife. My friend Lynn. A few Class A's. Not many camping on this side over here. However, two big parking lots here at the casino. The other side is quite full. Probably going to be saying goodbye to my friend Backroads Nomad. He's got to head to Idaho, and then probably to the East Coast. His uh, father-in-law is, is quite ill, and his wife is already out there. So for me to get ready, I got to get off these levelers here in the front. I'm gonna stop for fuel, stop for propane, dump my tanks. Down the road we're gonna go. Got a real good group that I'm traveling here with. Very good group. <laughs> All right, get these levelers up. Morning, David. Good morning, Kevin. How you doing, Smile buddy? for the camera. Yeah. Greetings, <laughs> salutations, felicitations. We, uh, you're going to get uh, propane here in Parker. It's 249, but at the RV pit stop in Quartzsite, I called. It's 230. Okay. So well, I say we hit the running man for the gas well, and, and go down to the RV let's pit stop. Do it. All right, all right. You're the man with the plan. You don't look like a deer in the headlights at all. I'm just here to tell you. <laughs> no problem. They got they got it hooked up right. What are we trying to do? just make sure it's all right. Trying to lock it in. Falcon two. There, Clint. One. The right one went in first. Right side's in, the second, the left isn't yet. The right side is in? The right side clicked in, the left isn't. Look at this nice Jeep he's got. Okay. He's gonna sell the, the roof rack off of this thing. It makes a whistle going down the road that they don't care for. We give each other a hard time. He thinks Jeeps are better than trackers and samurais. On back roads, is this where we say goodbye? For now. All is. right, you headed to Idaho? Headed to Idaho and then back possibly, out east. Possibly back to Tennessee for. Any word on your uh, father in law? Not yet. Chemo starts uh, Wednesday and they'll know better when they do the, after the first chemo. So, so anybody that follows back roads on his channel, uh, or even if they don't, just maybe send some prayers toward your way and your wife's way and father-in-law for sure. Yeah, I'll be making some videos on the way out there, showing right. people adventures along the way. I've enjoyed camping with you. Yeah. You're all right. You're all right. You are an all right guy. I don't yeah. care what everybody else says about you. Same, same with you. <laughs> same with you. <laughs> it's been fun. You had a good group to travel with, and I'm still going to stick with these guys right here for a while. It's always good. Always good to make new friends on the road. This is my traveling buddy, John, right here. His truck, he's got a Cummins diesel. I didn't know these things broke. <laughs> Battery's dead. Battery's dead. Yeah. I didn't have anything on. Huh. That's the 24 valve. Yeah. Is this the best one? Uh, yes. This is the good one. Yeah. It's the most powerful. Now with this Cummins right here, John, didn't you say that you put like five or six hundred thousand on your last truck? Seven hundred fifty. 
750. Do you care if I show your face? <laughs> so 750. He's, he's a good looking guy. I don't travel with nobody ugly. But uh, <laughs> 750. <laughs> What's the matter? What's the matter, back rows? Did I get you? That's the second one I've put 750,000 on. Just a one ton truck. Three quarter. Three quarter. So in 350,000 miles, you had any trouble with the engine? Yeah, I put uh, new injectors in it. It was running a little rough. How long did the original make it? Mm -hmm. Well, I just put them in uh, 50,000 ago, so it was about, about 300,000. 300, but my other truck went 700,000 before I had any problem with injectors. Wow. Same year. What year is the best Cummins? 12 to 12 valves. Are the are actually the easiest to work on the best, and then the then the twenty fours come after that. Uh, in nineteen ninety eight, the uh, twenty four valve. Yeah, ninety eight uh, and a half. Uh, the twenty four valve came out. I think I can, I think I can, I think can I can. We, uh, rev yours up a little? Yeah. Okay, buddy. Okay, been idling for about five minutes to try to get it, get it to start. He's gonna do it, he's good. Here we go. All right. This is one of the reasons that it's always good to travel in a group or even a small group because no one can have all the tools that you need all the time. But between two or three RVs, chances are pretty good you'll have what you need. I'm only down a quarter of a tank. But I like to try to stay full. Some of the cheapest fuel some of the cheapest fuel around is here. Place is clearing out pretty good. And I didn't lose a dime in the casino because I didn't gamble any. Thank goodness I don't have that problem. I eat too much. I may talk too much. I don't gamble too much. Not that I'm better than anybody else or anything like that, but it's just that's not my vice. However, I do do one thing. I buy two lottery tickets per month, okay? And uh, I have this thing where I just pretend I have the winning ticket in my pocket. It sounds crazy, but I uh, it's 266 million on the last ticket. And I just pretend I, I've got it. I pretend I've won. <laughs> I pretend that I... I just gotta go cash it in. So I feel rich all the time. Isn't that crazy? Works for me. At the running man. 273 per gallon. Man, that's cheapest I've seen it anywhere. Me too, Tuck. It's always important to cut your appliances off before you get gas. Normally I do it before I pull up to the pumps. Sometimes I forget, but I definitely cut off my hot water heater and my uh, gas fridge when I'm getting fuel.
I had three quarters of a tank. It's still going to be fifty, sixty dollars. Sixty dollars and fourteen cents to go from three quarters of a tank to full. Twenty-two gallons. <laughs> That's all right. I don't have to cut grass at this house. Receipt, please. Yes, I do. I'll be in quartzite in half an hour, 45 minutes. I'm just going to leave the fridge off. It'll stay cool that amount of time. It better. Well, just got sewer dump and propane at the RV pit stop. Heading south. Good morning. It's the next day. We, we have arrived at our campsite. Had a nice, peaceful sleep last night. Uh, there's David's rig to the right of me. My buddy David, uh, my buddy John's rig to this side. So uh, we're sitting here, we're enjoying our campsite, but uh, we're fixing to go into town for something. And uh, I want y'all to go with us. Come on. I did make a huge mistake uh, parking and leveling my rig last night. Um, <laughs> see the motorcycle? See the ramp? See the rock? <laughs> Oops. Uh, that's not going to work. So I'm going to have to move off these levelers when we get back to get Miss America off the off the back of Miss Gypsy. We're all going to take my buddy John's truck into town. He's got a four door and we'll all fit. I love the smell of diesel fuel in the morning. Now I know how John stays so clean. He's got baby wipes and his breath always smells minty fresh. He's got Tic Tacs. A man with a plan. The road to camp was kind of rough last night and uh, we noticed that there were some places where like the right-of-way was gonna fall looks like somebody didn't make it little SUV pulling it out this morning Isn't that horrible like it took a good spill what is that little Kia I think it's a Kia Sportage well, let's not forget the exhaust pipe let's go ahead and ruin the interior as well that thing's toast so it must have happened we came in a little bit late well no we, we had light we had light i didn't he went there when i i didn't see him anyway you didn't see him late last night hope nobody got hurt he lost his back hatch lost his back window among other things oh well hope nobody was hurt here we are at RV World Recreational Vehicle Center. There's the entrance here, right there. Right here, yeah, I see it. Coming in on two wheels. <laughs> Coming in on two wheels. <laughs> they'll see, they'll know we need service. Now, these, these guys are in a hurry to buy something. <laughs> Go to the right. Do my eyes deceive me? Is that a toy hauler bounder? I believe it is. I gotta go see it. Isn't that a pretty sucker? Full wall slide. Bounder. Extended living edition. At first, I thought this was a toy hauler. but it's not it's just a little platform on the back that you can sit out here have your own porch I don't know how I feel about that different let's go inside and take a look at it right quick
Ford V10. Yep, there's the door. And there's the bedroom. Little bitty bathroom. Oof. <laughs> there's the bed so it's not a toy hauler I wonder what's over I wonder what's over here well it looks like you got a little half bath back here and then the wall feels metallic Well, I was thinking outside the box. I don't know. I think the new RVs are pretty, but gosh, where I go, I'd just scratch it all to pieces, I'm afraid. Maybe not. Maybe I need to go somewhere else than where I'm going. Got the RVs here. Just walk by this one right here look at the length of this thing good gracious sprinter campfire this raptor fifth wheel now i had a i've had two fifth wheels one was a grand teton and another was a jaco talon and even my teton wasn't this big i think it was 36 I'm a pretty good driver, but I tell you, it's a lot to take down the road. Let's take a look at it while we're here. It has a definite open, airy feel. Stand up, but just barely. Fiberglass shower. I don't know. A lot to get down the highway. Take a lot of truck to pull it and a lot of truck to stop it. That's why I eventually went with my toter. Didn't see a price yet. Step out here on the this plastic line with screen on the other side, and that's just screen. Well, I found the price. Anybody got a guess? Still guessing? We're almost there. Dun dun dun. Dun dun dun. Dun -dun 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 -dun. So I came here with my friends, and I believe uh, David and his wife are in negoci negotiation. <laughs> Easy for you to say, in negotiations for a almost new fifth wheel. But uh, gosh, this video just keeps going. I got to find a place to end it. So I'm going to end it right here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you guys so much for watching my videos. Hey, we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.
I did make a huge mistake uh, parking and leveling my rig last night. Um, see the motorcycle? See the ramp? See the rock? <laughs> Oops. <laughs>